Hey guys, Vulcan Trader here. Just wanted to do a quick video on the basics of position sizing and uh, money management. I'm going to do a video series on how to do these, everything about them, and the theory behind them all. But this one just sim simple, quick, and easy. Just how to do it, and I'm going to tell you why or anything. Just tell you what you could do, and then I'll explain the whole reason why in later videos. So, um, if you wanted to you want to figure out how many shares you want to buy if you're going to make a trade. So we're going to, um, well, first let's do, look at this. Okay. This is a quote from Larry Height. He's, I don't know who he is exactly, but it's a quote I've seen a bunch of times in different books. But I have two basic rules about winning and trading as well as in life. If you don't bet, you can't win. If you lose all your chips, you can't bet. So the whole point here is that you have to, um, Bet small enough that you can't lose all your chips so that you can keep betting. And um, so the only way that you can do that and can be consistently profitable and keep playing and grow your bankroll is to um, well, bet, bet big enough to where it counts, but then also small enough to where um, yeah, you, you don't lose everything by overbetting. And um, a good easy rule of thumb that a lot of traders use to do that is... Um, you can see that trading has a lot of similarities to poker in that sense. And, but money management is everything. If you don't got that, if you don't know how to do money management, you shouldn't even make any trades well, until you understand this. So first we're going to um, so look at Lululemon here. One of the few good setups I could find, actually. There's not a lot of good stuff out there right now. But um, I'm going to move this right here. If you grab and drag on trading you in the right side, you can bring it down just so I can see. We get a little bit more space up here. So we're going to take a long position right here so open up this and then say okay I'm going to enter say we're to enter tomorrow and buy it at the open with about this price and our stop's going to be about right here good entry anytime you get it going sideways in a really tight range like this um, it's a good thing to look for you so uh, I'll explain that more in later videos but um, for now this is a good setup where you should know that and so we can see right here okay our stop's going to be uh, 7.45 let's say and then um, the our target is you know sixteen dollars up but anyway we're risking three point nine percent to make eight point seven four so all you gotta do is you risk one percent of your capital so say you had a thousand dollar account you take one thousand dollars times point zero one and one percent is just an easy number because uh, it's easy round numbers, so whatever your account is, it's easy to in your head do 10%. So I got a $1,000 account, so it's $10, and I take that and I divide it by the, my, the stop, which is 7.45, which is just 1.91 minus 1, or, or sorry, 191 minus 183. So 10 divided by 7.45 uh, gives us 1.34. We round down so we can buy one share of Lululemon if we had a thousand dollar account and so if the so we'd buy it tomorrow if it hit this price we'd sell it in the future and then if it hit um, hits this price we'd sell it also and so we you know we're risking one percent of our account or that one percent at ten dollars to make you know twenty something dollars basically is what we're uh, doing here so you you're only risking one percent this way meaning you'd lose uh, ten dollars roughly if your stop get hit of your thousand dollar account and then you gain twenty dollars and so if you have multiple stocks like that you, you know um, say you had multiple lemons you could at two hundred dollars thousand dollar account you roughly buy about four or five of them and so you have five of those four to five of those at a time and with a possible twenty dollar gain or a ten dollar loss on each of them which is a good risk reward ratio we'll say it's a fifty percent chance it could go up fifty percent chance it could go down so if you got a fifty fifty chance and then you make more than you lose on that fifty fifty chance that's a good bet right so it's pretty much this uh, all it comes down to so we'll do two more just so you get the hang of it so same thing here planet fitness this one's got earnings coming up right here so I wouldn't buy it right when I mean, you could try but if you aren't at a profit because it could gap down all the you know all the way down here at earnings so it'd be better to buy it after earnings but this is a good example on another setup so we do a long position here put it right at 
this, and we'll say our stop's going to be right here. I'm going to drag this down, put our profit right here. Uh, stop's 2.53, so we do 10, look at our $1,000 account, 1,000 times 0 0.01 for 1%. $10 divided by our stop, which is 2.53. We can buy 3.95. You can round that up to four. It's not too bad. Usually better to round down, but it, to be less risky. But uh, it's close enough. You can do four of these. So that we're, so that means that we could buy four shares of Planet Fitness at 78.65. So we do four times seven. D8.65. This is just to get an idea of how much it's going to cost. And it's going to cost us $314. So we could have bought one share of Lululemon at $191. We could buy four shares of Planet Fitness at $314. And then um, here's another one that would be ENLV. I don't know. I'd have to Google with it. It's not showing earnings here. Sometimes it doesn't. So you need to look at that. Um, so we do a long position here. You buy here. I think that's. Looks decent as long as the earnings aren't coming up soon. I'd put my stop here in this one. This one, I'd say, it's you know been rocketing like this. So I'd say it could probably hit up here even. So let's say this is our. We'll put it up here, and that's our risk reward. So and then I'll put our stop there, or maybe we'll put it right here. So maybe this would be better. Let's say our risk reward ratio is two point three two. So thousand dollar account. We know one percent of thousand is ten. So we get ten divided by our stop, which is 3.57. It's 2.8, and let's say we want to round down on this one to be conservative, give ourselves a little bit more room in case it went further. And so we'll just buy two of these. And so that would be, would cost us, so it's only 22.43, so 22.43. Times two, it'd actually only be forty-four dollars for that one. But um, so, and that's pretty much all there is to it. So, you, and so you just do that on a handful of stocks until you're. Uh, if you, now, whether you want to be fully invested is another question, and you know the market environment is better to just kind of ease in with a couple of stocks, you know, until they're at a profit, and then you you can move your stop up to break even to. Um, and you know, slowly add more to be conservative, and as you're getting, uh, you know, learning the the ropes, so to speak, and uh, yeah. So hopefully that helps in learning uh, position sizing. Oh, and like, subscribe, hit the bell if you'd like this. Share it with your friends. Uh, I haven't been doing that pumping myself enough, so there you go. Do that. There's your reminder.